Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on between you and the person that you're thinking about, what's going on in your love life, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, if you did purchase a personal reading and you haven't received it as of yet, Please check your emails because I did email a few people because I hadn't gotten your questions as of yet. Um, but everybody else that I got your questions, you should have received your reading. Okay. All right, my love. I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call in the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos in love. What's currently going on with my Virgos in love? Hmm. What y'all got going on here? Obsession. <laughs> That's a pretty big energy right there. Some of you guys are taking a time out while wow, compromising. Wow, that's a lustful energy. Some of you guys, there's a feeling of like overindulging. It's a lot of passion here. There's somebody here, there's a longing, like must have. Like there's somebody here, I feel like for some of you guys, somebody here is truly lusting over you. Somebody here is truly obsessing over you. And I'm talking about like something delicious. <laughs> like somebody finds you extremely delicious. Somebody finds you as somebody that they have to have. Somebody, somebody, all they think about is overindulging, indulging in with you, in you, however this goes. There's a big energy there. Sorry, I wanna get an incense. I'm sorry, I normally put that out before. Yeah, somebody here definitely, definitely is is lusting over some of you guys. I do see for some of you guys, there's an energy here of taking a pause in your love life right now, present moment. There's like a timing factor between you and someone here. Someone here that could be definitely longing for you. This could definitely be somebody here that's longing for you right now, present moment, but this is like taking a pause and then we have settlement, agreement, compromising. All right, so some of you guys, like, why do I feel like this is like a bargaining? Like some of you guys bargaining with somebody, like, okay, if you wanna be with me, if you want me to be a part of this, what's in it for me? I feel like there's a group of you guys, this is an energy of like, what's in it for me? Like trying to compromise trying to come to some type of agreement. Like if I'm gonna be this of what you want me to be, what is it, what's in it for me? Yeah, there's an energy here of what's in it for me. Show me. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is like a game. For some of you guys, you put somebody on red, you put somebody on pause, that's a part of your compromise. That's a part of you getting what it is that you, you see, that's a, that's a game right here. Like somebody here is like, you know that somebody is lusting over you. You know somebody's obsessed with you. You know somebody wants your goodies. <laughs> yeah. And like, you're like, okay, well, you, I don't get what I want. You don't get what you want. Now it's like, okay, let's compromise. What's in it for me? That's for somebody. That's for somebody. Show me. Realization. Something's coming to light. Somebody's finding something out. Ooh, prevented from harm, divine intervention. Somebody's finding out the truth. Somebody's coming to a realization. Like some, somebody's finding out something. Somebody's coming to some type of realization. We're gonna see what this is about. Souls moving, physical location change. For somebody here, you're dealing with somebody here that's obsessed with you. Somebody that you're taking a, a break from. 
somebody that you're taking a break from, you've had to relocate, you've had to move away from this person, or you're having to do this. And I see Archangel Michael protecting, protecting your home from someone as well, protecting your transition. For some of you guys, you had to relocate. You had to move because somebody knew where you stayed. This is somebody here that was obsessed with you. Yeah. For somebody here, this is also, I'm also getting like somebody was like playing a game. Somebody was playing with fire. Somebody was playing with fire because somebody didn't know how someone truly, truly was. No. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me obsession. What's this must have indulgence? What's this must have indulgence for my Virgos? Two of Pentacles. So somebody here was juggling. Somebody here was juggling. Somebody here was playing with fire. Yeah. The devil. Mm, see that obsession? You see that obsession? You know what this is? Somebody here was... Okay, somebody was having an affair and tried to cut it off. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, somebody here, yes, there's, a, there's an energy here of juggling. There's an energy here of an indecision, not being like trying to make a decision, trying to come out of something that's toxic, something third party. And somebody here won't, doesn't want to give up. Somebody here is still longing. Somebody here is trying to still reach out to the other person. Somebody here is still in the other person's energy. So whether this is you or the person that's in your energy, somebody, some of you guys, you have a stalker. You have somebody that's obsessed with you. And for some of you guys, there's an energy here of opening the door to this obsession. And like now it's like trying to change the momentum, trying to change the trajectory of this connection. And somebody here feels like they have to have to have you. Somebody is obsessed. Even whether it's you with someone else or them with someone else. Somebody's trying to get over this. Somebody's definitely trying to get over this. Show me the devil. We have the page of swords with the world. Yeah, you see that? Something's come full circle. Huh. This person, if this is not you and this is someone else, this person sees that it's over with. This person sees that it's over with. I feel like there's an energy of taking something too far here. It's like someone feels that someone sees or feels that you're not coming back to them. Someone sees that this cycle is over with. But this person is still watching you. This person is still watching you. This person is trying to heal. A lot of you guys could have been dealing with a karmic or somebody that has some type of addiction, somebody that was codependent, somebody that was obsessed. This person was obsessed with you. But the craziest thing is that this person had someone else or you had someone else. Yeah, somebody sees the instability in their want and longing for you. And this person is trying to pull themselves together, trying to come to terms with the fact that something is over and done with. This person is definitely trying to come to terms with the fact that this is over and done with, but this, per this person is still watching you. Could be a younger Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also have Capricorn. But this person is obsessed with your goodies, whether you're a man or whether you're a male or female. This person is obsessed with your goodies. Show me this interlude for my Virgos. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Ooh, somebody's taking a pause from somebody here because somebody was ugly. Somebody cussed somebody out. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Somebody had a nasty ass attitude and somebody's like, okay, if this is how you're gonna act, well, this is how I'm gonna act. And somebody got cussed out. Somebody was ugly. Somebody was extremely ugly. Show me. Four of Cups, they missed an opportunity. Somebody missed an opportunity with you. They can, yeah, somebody missed an opportunity with you. They feel like it's an injustice. For some of you guys, you divorced this person. For some of you guys, you sent this person to jail. You could have actually put a restraining order on this person. Yeah, you over it. For some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody here. This person was mentally, physically, verbally abusive. And like you were waiting, you were you were waiting. And like, this is like an energy of waiting and it's like setting someone up. 
Then it's like getting a restraining order, making sure there's witnesses to this. And somebody missed an opportunity, somebody's going to go to jail or somebody here feels like there's an injustice. There are some documents filed against this person. But it was like you were waiting for this, waiting for someone to show their show their ass because they did. And they. Yeah. Because you were over it. You were so over the abuse, the mental, physically, verbal, verbal abuse. You were so over it. You were patiently waiting. For a lot of you guys, you were dealing with somebody here that was obsessed with you. Show me justice, Libra energy. Four of Pentacles. They didn't want to let you go. Ten of Swords. Oof, this is something that you guys are going through right now, present moment. Right now, present moment, some of you guys are going through this. There's still the residual. The pain is still there. The heartache, the pain, the fear. Some of you guys are still living in fear. Some of you guys are still living in fear because this person's going to come back because you know that this person doesn't want to let you go. You know that this person doesn't want to let you go because you know that this person is, is obsessed with you and you're living right now, present moment. You're living in fear. As I say, 11, 11 on the clock right now, present moment, you're living in this 10 of swords fear. Yeah. Show me settlement spirit. Show me settlement for my Virgos. We have the three of wands. It's like, okay, I just want to be done with this. This is talking about like returning to something. Like you were patiently waiting, but your, your, your patience has been worn thin. So for some of you guys, you've been, you were waiting for something or someone was waiting for you. Like waiting for someone to return. This was like giving an energy of waiting for someone to return. And it's like somebody here is like, okay, I'm willing to compromise. Somebody's willing to compromise. Seven of Wands, like someone that I feel like there's a there's an energy of trying to break down the wall, trying to break down the door. Like, I'm willing to fight for this. Someone's willing to fight for a connection. Someone's willing to compromise. Show me spirit. Two of Wands because they can't move on. They don't like the distance between the two of you. Someone here is willing to compromise with you. Someone here is willing to, willing to bend their wheel. They can't move on from you. They're about to lay there. It's like put, laying that guard, setting that guard down. Two of Wands, they're not able to move on. For some, for some of you guys, somebody here kept waiting for you to come back to them. And because you didn't, now they're willing to do what you ask. Now they're willing to compromise. Now they're willing to sit down at the table and come to some type of agreement. Yeah. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why? Because this person wants you. Because this person, there's, there's almost like a fiending energy. There's almost like a fiending energy here. Show me this Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me this Knight of Wands, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person loves you. This person loves you. This person loves you. They may not be showing it to you. This could be somebody that a lot of a lot of your interaction with this person is sex based. This could also be somebody here that's been flighty with you. This could also be someone that that's been flighty with you, but this is like somebody getting their act together. This is like someone here wanting to get their act together because they don't like the distance. They don't like the distance that that's between you and them. This person has been extremely guarded with you. This person may come across as a little standoffish with you. But I feel like why because I I feel like for some of you guys, there's some past energy here with this person. There could be somebody from this person's past that's still lingering in this person's energy. For some of you guys, this person could actually be undergoing a divorce right now, present moment, that's not settled. That's not settled. And that could be why this person has been guarded with you. That's why this person's been standoffish with you as well. Yeah. Show me this realization, spirit. What's this realization for my Virgos? nine of swords you're seeing what the problem is you're going to find out what the problem is and it's going to have you stressed out you're going to come something's going to come to light four swords this is going to allow you to take a step back though once you find something out you're going to take a step back cancer energy you're about to find out where the blockages and the obstacles have been coming from the secrets that you don't know, they're about to come to light. Cancer energy. 
these obstacles and these blockages that that you've been facing in your love life you're about to if you've been dealing with someone here that there's it's it's like there's something that's being you feel it something's being hidden from you there's something about this person that you don't know you're about to find this out this is like spirit saying for you just to kind of take a step back sit relax at, grab your a bag of popcorn and watch the fireworks because it's about to come to light and it's going to cause you to stress you're you're going to stress over this there's going to be some stress and some anxiety some loss it's going to feel like a nightmare for some of you guys whatever this is that's going to come to light is going to be unbelievable it's going to be absolutely absolutely unbelievable and a lot of you guys it's like you're going to have to take a moment to gather yourself take a moment to contemplate to to relax to rest up to heal you're going to have to take a moment because it's definitely, whatever this is, is definitely going to cause some type of pause. There's definitely going to be a pause here. There's definitely going to be a pause. Show me the chariot. The Virgo. Hermit energy. Yeah. This is about you. This is about you going into solitude. Something's going to come to light. And there you go. Like trying to, some of you guys, you're going to be taking a step back. Yeah, three of cups. Hmm. Three of Cups talks about a reunion, talks about a celebration. What is this? Nine of Wands. You're not going to let this phase you. When, when this comes out, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've, been, you've undergone so much. There's an energy here of not truly expecting so much. So even when this comes out, this is like you kind of saying, okay, go figures. And like just moving on. Like this is kind of giving me like you're gonna ha you're gonna have a moment you're gonna take a moment, but gathering yourself, picking yourself up again is not gonna be as hard as it would have been in the past. No, it's not gonna be as hard as it would have been in the past. Show me Archangel Michael for Virgo, the Hangman, Pisces energy. Mm, you're surrendering. You you know you you know that everything's kind of out of your control. Surrendering to a higher power. Page of Wands. I see communication. Queen of Swords. You're, talk, you're speaking your truth. You're being real. Like even when someone communicates with you. The thing about it is with the Queen of Swords. Like you're being real no matter what. You're being real no matter what. You know that you're protected. Two of Cups. I do see a soulmate coming in for you. A faded connection. I feel like your spirit guides are actually bringing in a faded connection to you. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody that's slightly younger. But this is somebody here that acts. They act before they think. This person acts before they think. But this is a faded connection here. This is a soul connection. A twin flame karmic connection. Show me. Seven of Pentacles. But why do you feel like you're not too sure you want to invest in this? Four of Wands. So this is something that you've, this is something from your past that's coming right on back around. This is about timing. Something from your past that didn't work out, it just might work out this go round. A connection from your past that didn't work out before could definitely work out for you this go round. This is something faded. This is a soul connection. This is something that you've invested into in the past. And you didn't get the return on your investment then. But look at it coming right on back around to lay a solid foundation, to marry, to form a relationship here. This is your 11-11 twin flame connection. This is a protected connection. The lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah. You're going to have a choice to make. You're definitely going to have to make a choice. Show me sold. Show me sold. Ace of Cups. So some of you guys, you're going to be walking away from a connection that you're no longer interested in. The Hierophants, yeah, see that? This is like, you're not committed to this anymore. The sun, you're not happy. The sun in the reverse, Leo energy. Some of you guys will be moving. Some of you guys will be leaving a, a, a marriage, a relationship because you're no longer in love. There's no more love here. Could be with a Leo Taurus, moving, five of wands, you don't want to compete for this person's attention anymore, the fight is not, you don't have the fight in you anymore, 
no page of cups yeah you're you're gone you're done death you've been fighting this ending for a long time you guys have been fighting this ending for a long time and you don't want to fight this anymore mm -mm. show me spirit show me what i need to see for my virgos show me okay it says finances and career Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So a lot of you guys, finances could definitely be um, a factor in your love life. Some of you guys could definitely be having to like compromise over divorces, child custody, assets. And it's causing a wedge between you and someone here. A lot of you guys are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're calling in, you're manifesting your soulmate right now, present moment. Some of you guys, we have, we have free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life. Because I do see for some of you guys, you're going to be freeing yourself from a situation that you're in right now, present moment. And then it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So spirit is saying for you guys to stay optimistic. Hmm. I like that energy. All right, my loves. This is what I have for you guys. Only take what resonates. Leave everything else behind. Okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Bye, guys.